Hi, I'm Tyler, Project Manager and Lighting Director here at Sweet Tree Productions. Today, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about one of our wireless handheld mic series, the Sennheiser EW100G2. Now, this is just one of our uh, mini series of uh, handheld mics. So, we're going to go into a little bit of detail on how to set different uh, sensitivities, how to tune it, and all that good stuff. So, basic principles. You've got your receiver, um, and then you've got your transmitter right here. So, say this is your receiver. It's going to be sitting back at the booth or side of the stage or wherever you're pulling the audio out of this and going into your console. As everyone knows, this is your transmitter, your microphone. This is whoever the star is is going to be using this bad boy right here. So, uh, we'll start out simply with the uh, transmitter here. Very awesome transmitter. The G2 series was a very popular series by Sennheiser. Very easy, very simple to uh, set up and operate. So first of all, we'll start with the basic principles. You're going to unscrew the uh, tail cap to get the bat to get access to the batteries here. This uses two uh, AA batteries. Just take those in and out, and uh, just like a majority of any other uh, products that use uh, batteries, you've got your uh, negative side on the spring here and you're positive on the with the nipple on the other so you just stick both of those in there slide that cover back down and screw that tail cap back in very simple so now we've got power going to our transmitter the uh, tail cap on the bottom the black rotates to your different options uh, and uh, buttons you have on the uh, microphone itself so your first option you're going to need to uh, deal with is the uh, on-off. Very simple orange button. Press the button. It comes on. And now you've got your little uh, display down here at the bottom where it tells you your frequency, uh, battery life, and mute, and stuff like that. As we rotate on around, the next option we have is mute. And this is where uh, you can mute or unmute the microphone. And um, after that, you have three buttons you have set and then you have up and down arrows if you press set and uh, you have different channels you have bank you have bank U, you have stored and then you also have uh, within those you use the up and down arrows and uh, you can go to stored we'll use the up and down arrows get to where we're going here next is channel tune now tune is primarily what we're going to be working with today very simple very easy you're going to hit set again and uh, this is where you can tune the fine frequency so it's set on 528.65 now and we can go up to 528 600 uh, 528 575 just a general frequencies to make it match up with uh, what the actual receiver will be picking up so that way they're on the same page. Once you've got it to where you want, hit set again and it will say stored uh, and it'll go back to your main menu of tune. Next we'll go to sensitivity which is very key. You have uh, right now set on negative 30 decibels. Uh, this is just so if anybody's screaming into the mic or something like that it's not going to peek out on your board and um, you know if you have somebody that's not really that loud you can just uh, turn it up on your console or you can go into sensitivity which is what we're in now and raise it to 0 dB or uh, let's see here what our other options are uh, negative 20 dB negative 10 um, and that way it just makes it more sensitive the higher number you get so we're just going to set that back on negative 30 it says stored once you hit set then we can go back up and down uh, and this, then you've got display name reset and everything else you really don't need to uh, mess with unless you want to hit lock. And that's going to lock it from anybody messing with it once it's out of your hands, the technician's hands. So that way nobody can really uh, mess up the mic. Now on this, uh, you also have a slot here where you can turn it and it won't show anything. All it will show is on, off, and mute. And so that way if you got somebody that might hit or bump that button, it's not going to mess up the microphone because it's locked and they can't really do anything that's going to, uh, you know, mess up the show. So, next we'll move on to the receiver. 
on the receiver, you got your uh, ACN, you've got an XLR out, a quarter inch out, you've got a data cable, um, and then you've also got your two antennas. Uh, antennas simply just, uh, you put them on and then you twist it, and they're installed, both of those. Now, we should recommend you put them at a uh, 90 degree angle, one of them at a 90 degree angle, just like they are here. Uh, and make sure if you extend them, you uh, extend them both to the same length, or that way, you know, if you don't, one uh, will pick up closer and more than the other, and then you're going to run into all sorts of other problems. So, you've got your power button, and all you got to do is just hold that sucker down, and it'll come on or go off, whichever one you prefer and need. Um, you have three buttons on this uh, receiver itself. All you got to do is hit set, and then you can go up and down. You've got your bank, channel, tune. Uh, we're going to go into tune like we did on the microphone. I'll turn the microphone back on here and look at what it's at. And uh, see, so that way we can match the frequency here. And I'll just show you how simple it really is. Get to the main menu. Okay, so now the microphone is at 528.500. So, we just go on here to uh, our tune, we hit the set button, which is basically like a select, and then we're going to go to 528, that's going to take a minute, okay, 528, and then it was 500 if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so now that we're at 528-500, you hit set again, and it says stored, and now your channel's set. Um, also on this, on the uh, receiver here, you've got a bunch of other different options, but the other one we're going to really talk about is the uh, squelch. And basically, just a simple way to put this is, this is uh, your range of how far you want the receiver to actually be searching to pick up uh, frequencies. So we're going to hit set, and then you've got squelch low, mid, and high. Uh, when you pick this up from the warehouse, it'll be set on uh, mid here. But uh, if, if you're close to the uh, transmitter here and it's not picking up that well, you can change it to your lows. Or if you're a far distance away and it's not picking up, you can change it to your high to, to make sure that it, it starts to pick that up. So very simple, very easy. Everything else is really unnecessary to mess with. Um, as far as the frequencies go, it ranges from you know where the location is of the venue of the show of what frequency you should kind of be on. If you have any questions about that, feel free to uh, give us an email or give us a call and we'll definitely help you out with that. There's a bunch of different uh, applications for your phone and stuff you can use um, or you can Google it, different kind of stuff like that. Um, but that's it, basic, simple, awesome uh, handheld mic here, very simple to operate, very awesome uh, quality. Sennheiser always does the good stuff. Um, so if you have any questions about this particular uh, wireless mic system or any of our systems, feel free to uh, give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll be glad to help you. Thanks for joining us here at Sweet Tree Productions.